Now, let us suppose we are having this program. So, in this program, we are having multiple le levels of indirection. What is indirection? Indirection means you are pointing to some other location. You are pointing to some other different directions. Okay. So, let, let us explore what is happening in this program. So, in this program, this C1 is a character variable and it is storing capital A. Okay. Then we are having character star P1. Okay. That means this P1 is a pointer of type character, right? Then this we are having double star P2, right? So this is there is a pointer P2, okay? That means see here this is a pointer P1, pointer P1, and it will point to a character variable, okay? Then in the next statement, we are having a pointer P2, it will point to a pointer of type character which is pointing to a character, okay? character variable okay in the third case we are having triple star p3 that means this p3 is a pointer of type character which will point to a character pointer and that character pointer is again pointing to a character variable right so here see here it is this only one level this pointer p1 is pointing to c1 here it is two levels that means this pointer p1 uh, may point to some other pointer which is again pointing to some other uh, variable and here in this p3 this may point to some other uh, pointer which may point to some other pointer which are again pointing to some other character okay so let us see what is happening in this program so we are having three pointers p1 p2 and p3 okay now p1 is equal is equal to ampersand c1 that means this p1 is storing the address of c1 so let us suppose the address of c1 is 1000 therefore this p1 is now going to store 1000 now suppose the address of P1 is 2000, address of P2 is 3000 and the address of P4 is, this P3 is 4000 and the address of P2 is 3000. Now in the, the next line, next line and in P2 I am storing the address of P1. Therefore this P2 is now going to store 2000. In the next line in P3 I am storing the address of P2. That means this P3 is storing the address of P2 which is 3000. So if you see it means that P1 is pointing to this character variable, P2 is pointing to this pointer P1 which is again pointing to this character variable and this P3 is pointing to this pointer P2 which is again pointing to this pointer P1 and which is again pointing to this character variable. Okay, So if you use this multiple stars, if for example 1 star, 2 star, 3 star which is showing the levels of in directions. right? So for in the case of p1 there is only one level of indirection that means this p1 is pointing to a uh, character variable c1 for this p2 there are two levels of indirection that means this p2 is pointing to p1 and p1 is again pointing to p2 there are two levels for this p3 there are three levels of indirections that means this p3 is pointing to p2 and this p2 is pointing to p1 and this p1 is pointing to c1 okay so there are three levels of indirections so in this way you can have multiple levels of indirection now the question is how many multiple levels of indirection can you have okay so let us see how many levels of multiple uh, how many multiple levels of indirection can you have so in c language if you see in c language there are at least uh, in uncc standard this is, there are multiple standards of c so in uncc standards all says that all compilers must handle at least 12 levels of indirections that means you can have 12 levels of indirections like we have we did in the previous example okay so here if you see there is a variable i which is of type integer which is storing 0 then there is a pointer p1 this ptr1 which is storing the address of i let us suppose the address of i is 1000 therefore this ptr1 is now going to store 1000 then we are having the pointer p2 let us suppose this is the pointer p2 and it is storing the address of p2 
P1. So let us suppose the address of P1 is 2000. Therefore, it is now going to store 2000, and the address of P2 is let us suppose 3000. Okay. Then there is a pointer P3, PTR3, which is storing the address of P2, which is storing 3000, and this address is 4000, and so on. So there can be multiple levels of indirection. So in, in the last level, I'm saying these many stars, and then I'm doing a PTR12 is equal to one. Okay, so here with the help of these many stars, I'm handling all these multiple levels of indirections, right? So if you see, this is the first level, this is the second level, this is the third level, this is the fourth level, this is the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and eleven and twelve. So there will be twelve stars here if you count it: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that means with every star, I'm uh, dereferencing this pointer 12, and I'm with every star I'm point uh, I'm referencing one level, and with 12 stars I dereferenced all the levels, and I reached this integer variable i, and from this line number 13, I'm storing one into this integer variable i. Okay, so in this way you can dereference this uh, these many pointers, but uh, if You'll see now after this uh, two stars or three stars, the things things become very complicated. So it is not really suggested that you use multiple levels of indirections. Okay, so you can use multiple uh, this indirection to the level one or to the level two, but after that it is uh, not very really suggested. Okay.